What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and if you are be sure to press the like button otherwise no joke no scam whatsoever. Some guy will try to fight you next time you go outside. I'm not sure what he's so angry about. I I'm really not sure he was screaming something about baloney but if you don't press the like button he's gonna fight you so I would press it. Real talk though guys today we have a story time about the time some guy some dad tried to fight somebody at the skate park. I was at because uh, you know that's just what happens sometimes dads just be getting mad it is it was a little bit ridiculous though grown men fighting teenagers is just always a weird look they always want extra credit for being able to beat up children as if like that's not what they should be able to do yeah dude you're a grown man you you should be able to fight children but regardless it should be a pretty entertaining video and uh, yeah without further ado let's get into it all right guys so uh this story takes place at the skate park when i was maybe like 15 years old i don't think i could drive yet but uh regardless we were just chilling doing our thing and it was on like a saturday at 11 so it was one of those days where there were a lot of little kids you know and on days where there was a lot of little kids obviously we were trying to be a little bit more careful in terms of where we were going and how fast we were going but something about little kids you also got to understand is uh they're not exactly savants at knowing how to not get in the way there's a term for at skate parks called snaking and when somebody like gets in your way without you know you noticing and kind of takes in front of you or cuts you off you just say that you got snaked and little kids are notorious for snaking not because you know they're bad people but just they're little kids and they don't really know not to get in the way and they don't really know how to check both ways especially in a skate park where there's ramps and different ways people can come through so sometimes they just get in the way and so we were all being very careful because nobody wants to be the guy that runs over a little kid uh, but sure enough one of my friends comes over this like little hip and there's a little kid on the other side and he just runs him over like not runs him over as in literally but like smacks into him on his skateboard and when he smacks into the kids it's one of those things where the park just goes silent and all you hear is like the skateboard sliding down the ramp and then the razor scooter the kid was on sliding down the ramp and then silence and then a kid crying so I want to make it very clear the kid did not mean to run over this child obviously the kid was just in his blind spot he had no way of knowing he was there and to be fair I, from what we found out after the kid had just been sitting there for a while uh, so it's not like the kid was just in the wrong place at the wrong time and I don't think the person who ran him over knew that I genuinely don't but sure enough the kid starts crying and almost immediately all the parents are starting to be like someone got hurt someone got hurt and of course this big macho like tough guy looking dad starts walking over and is like who ran over my kid who ran over my kid and he's holding his son and he's just kind of like which one of you inconsiderate jerks ran over my kid do you have no consideration for anybody else at the skate park are you kidding me do you see how young my kid is do you think it's funny to just go around running over little kids and listen obviously everybody felt horrible like genuinely nobody wants to be the person who runs over a little kid at the skate park so whatever he's just kind of screaming that we're all inconsiderate and whatnot and everybody's just kind of standing there shocked because nobody wanted the kid to get hurt so he starts asking who did it and finally the kid who did it puts up his hand he's like look it was an accident and even though he says it's an accident the dad gets up in his face and like shoves him to the ground and is like what do you like it when bigger people knock you down do you like it when bigger people knock you down huh and the kid is just like sir I didn't mean to knock over your kid I'm sorry like it was an accident and he's standing over the kid and he just shoving him down every time he tries to get up and he's like oh oh you think you're tough picking on little kids he's like I wasn't picking on everybody and everybody else in the skate park is kind of yelling at the dad now when we realize that he's just like hitting on this kid not like hitting on him as hey baby but like pushing him down to the ground is like no so a couple of us uh, like walk up and like push the dad away and are like yo calm down calm down uh, and I'm gonna be honest before the dad had even gotten there the kid who had run him over was the main one helping him like there was obviously a group of us who had gone over to try to help the kid and the one who had run him over had been like I'm so sorry are you okay like can I help you feel better and was genuinely trying to take care of him it's not like the kid had hit him and was telling the dad like your son's an idiot for getting in my way he wasn't being disrespectful he was genuinely really really sorry because nobody wants to be the one to run over a kid because honestly it really isn't fun to hurt innocent people like believe it or not I don't know what this stigma is about how all skaters are jerks who just hate children but most skaters used to be little kids at the skate park so most 
most of us don't enjoy watching little kids get hurt and I don't think most people in general but especially skaters would go out of their way to just run over some little kid at the skate park and even then let's say we were all jerks why would we purposely want to do something that's going to get us in trouble and like make a parent mad at us because then we're going to get in trouble and then they could get us banned from the skate park so no one's going to do that like even if we wanted to but mainly because we're not bad enough people to just run around hitting kids so all the skaters have gathered around our friend and we're like yo dude calm down we're not gonna let you fight him because it was an accident and he starts being like i'll take on all of you you know i'm gonna fight you trust me i'll be waiting in the parking lot and when you go to go home i'm gonna fight you nobody hurts my son and like gets away with it and honestly, everybody's trying to explain to him that it was an accident. Like, it, it was not that deep. So the kid is like, listen, calm down. Let's just, let's just, let's go talk to him and relax. So he wants to go talk to the dad. So he gets close to the dad and opens up with, I'm sorry. And he says, I'm sorry. And the dad turns around and lunges and starts trying to punch him over people's shoulders. Like he was behind a couple of kids and he starts trying to hit him. So not only is the dad shoving him, but now the kid went up to apologize again and do the right thing and this grown man is like what apologies what are we sissies and just starts trying to punch a child so at this point everybody's like hey hey and he starts getting chased and his kids with them and they go and they're like hopping in the car and the dad's flipping people off through the window real good example for his kid what I've never understood about this is that like the people who always go the most ballistic in front of their kids are the same people that always complain about like you know oh you got to be a good role model or there's kids around and it's like dude you literally just tried to punch a 15 year old in the face because your kid accidentally got hurt and now you're flipping people off in the parking lot yeah that's a great example for your kids like listen everybody hates their kids being hurt but he went on this rant about how we're all jerks and set bad examples for these kids and then set a bad example for these kids and I don't care I feel like kids you know people per like might might you know shelter them a little bit too much if a kid sees you flip somebody off it's no big deal but you can't get mad at other people and then do the exact same thing that's like hypocritical all right, I'm going to be annoying for a second and uh, ask you guys to press the like button and comment the word Kung Fu down below if you're an absolute savage. It just helps the video do better, and uh, the video doing better helps me do better. So I would really appreciate you just taking a second to press that like button and comment, and uh, yeah, back to the video. Anyways, the dad finally, like, peels out of the parking lot and on the way, you know, is flipping everybody off and his son is just kind of sitting there looking scared because, I'm not gonna lie, he did kind of have an angry mob after him towards the end. He had just, like, punched the kids, so I'm sure there was literally, like, 20 skaters around his car being like, get out of here, so I'm sure he was scared, but, you know, he wouldn't be scared if he didn't go around trying to punch kids in the face, so as far as reasons to be scared go, I feel like people being mad that you punch a kid in the face is a pretty reasonable reason for a group of people to be chasing you and telling you to leave but uh regardless that's that uh, I, I'm gonna be honest if any parents watch my videos for whatever reason you take your kid to a skate park nobody wants to hurt your kid people want your kid to enjoy skating it's just like they get in the way sometimes it's not their fault they just don't know any better skate parks are when you're a little kid hard to understand the flow of and like where people are gonna go and when so it's not their fault just be vigilant of it dude because the amount of parents who just drop their kids off at the skate park and forget that it's a place where people go really fast and jump over things and like you know people can get hurt are insane it's not a swing set not that you know kids shouldn't go to the skate park because they should but it's not as safe as like a normal playground if you're picking up what I'm putting down so maybe just watch your kids a little bit more so they don't get hurt but uh yeah on that note guys I think that's gonna do it for the video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did be sure to press the like button let me know in the comment section down below what you thought and if you're new hit that subscribe button turn on notifications I upload videos like this every day and you don't want to miss it if you enjoyed the intro song a link will be down below if you feel like checking it out no pressure if you don't want to I guess other than that, get yourself some of the OG Sub Club merch. Use code SCRUBBY at the G Fuel checkout for a little bit of a discount. We all take the W that way. And, uh, yeah, don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next time. My Twitter is at SCRUBBY underscore 69. My Instagram is just at SCRUBBY. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go hit a kid now, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.